Do you know where your pants are? <laughs> Neither do we. So, I, I, I love our drunk friend. What is your name, sir? You're Jeff? Can you do like a, like a little bear dance or something? Do you have any moves? Yeah? Come on up here, Jeff! Come on up here! We really don't know what's going to happen, lads and lads. We were going to expose you to our fanny. But here we have Jeff and you're very soft. Some crazy moves. I don't have you any crazy moves, but I can try. You can try. Can try. Well, yeah. that, you know, that's good. So, ladies and gentlemen, lads and lasses, we never quite know what's going to happen, especially this weekend with All Hallows Eve. But can you make a lot of noise for Jeff? No matter what happens. This All Hallows Eve. What was that? Show us your fanny? Yeah! You need to put like at least a 20 in the tip basket for that. Here we are. Oh, oh look, I've got an inch there. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Lads and lasses, we will expose you to our fanny. And for those of you that may be nervous parents or nervous furries like Jeff. Lads and lasses, I'm speaking of our very own Fanny McCracken. Who oh, have been infiltrated by the McCracken clan. And this, lads and lasses, is our sweet Fanny. We thought that we'd uh, let our Fanny do a little bouncing around. I know, we thought we'd tear up some fast jigs to play. But you, our bagpipe-loving audience, if we could, if we could get a little help with Johnny John on the big drum here with a little tempo. That means if you're not double fisting in adult baggage,
seen our Fanny. Yes, Jeff, do you have a question? Yes, you can use the restroom. It's just over there. No, you don't need the restroom. There's a song called Danes, D-A-N-S, with an exclamation mark. I know you all know that song. Danes. Dons. Dons. Yes. It's on, our, it's on our unmistakable CD. You don't play Dons? We do, but that was released in, I want to say, 2005. You gotta catch up, though. You gotta catch up. We got like four hours of music since then. Do you really want to hear it? Do you really want to hear it? Do you have a smartphone? Do you have a smartphone? You don't. Do you have any friends who have a smartphone? Do you have any friends? You have a flip phone. That has nothing to do with anything. No, no, smartphone, smartphone, not a smoke. We didn't even have sex yet. So, come here, come here, come here, Jeff, come here. I want you to just take a look at all these people that are amazingly bored right now and wondering why the hell you keep talking to us. Because they came here for a bunch of music and, no, no, no. and some dancing. Some dance. 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 Can you play dance? Try iTunes. We can catch up this is a we're gonna bring up a dancer who I, I don't mean to take this the wrong way. But she's, she's a lot better than you are. She's <laughs> really dead sexy, Jeff. No, no, we can put you down. And don't no, don't worry. See us after the show. We'll, we'll send you a link or something. You know, we'll, we'll educate you in the, the digital music world. <laughs> so, until then, though, lots and lots of Here we are. It's all Hallow's Eve. Yeah. I know, there are a lot of, you know, the costumes that we see year after year here at the Renaissance Festival. I mean, we have, can, I've got to give you a shout out. This is the best. Jack o' lantern that have. Can you, can you stand up on the bench? Can you stand on the bench? They're still young for the ball. Just so the people can, can see you there. Is that, is that Hell yeah. It's like costume sponsored by Tim Burton. <laughs> what is your name? I can't hear you through the pumpkin. Say again? Tyler. Tyler. Tyler, you look amazing. I look forward to seeing you in a, in a Halloween film. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. All right, so before we get off track, some of the costumes here, people spend a lot of time putting a costume together or shopping for a costume so that they can look as sexy as they can for all Hallow's Eve weekend. And we would like to raise the sexy quotient for this performance right now by inviting our very own Sophia Ballantyne to the stage. Her rhythmic undulations are renowned by the losses. And for the past 11 years now, Tartanic has been presenting badass bagpipes and the rhythmic undulations of Sophia Ballantyne. I know. She has traveled the world, studied the Middle East to further her belly dance skills, graduating from university in the great kingdom of Manhattan Stan. With not one but two degrees in dance and psychology and this is her full-time employment. Lots and lots is, the truth is, Sophia isn't very different from you and I. Sophia grew up just a small town girl. Living in a lonely world! Oh, no. Until that one fine day, lots and lots, she took that midnight train. Going! For those of you that sang along, that has nothing to do whatsoever with this performance. But, yes, thank you for taking that little journey with us. I know, this is why we're dancing and doing music, because it's so much better than the humor. So, lads and lasses, this All Hallows Eve, coming to you, 39 years in the making for this festival, 11 for Tartanic, and only 25 years for Sophia herself. And it's your birthday! Well, it, it was, you know, like, just yesterday, right? Yeah, so, lads and lasses. Give a big birthday cheer for our very own Sophia
the name, sorry. Let's say again. Derek. Can we get a little applause for Derek? Is this, is this your sister or you're here with friends? Your girlfriend? And you didn't get that on video. There's been so much incriminating him. Oh, he has the phone. Well, this gentleman right beside you, he's been filming the entire show. So if you, if you post that on YouTube or tag us on the Facebook, then we'll have like 30,000 people watching Derek shake it with Sophia. <laughs> It's taken a while to get that many people, but lots and losses. That's like a typical day with good weather at the at the festival. So we're we're proud to have that many people liking bagpipes, digging the show, liking the drums, having a particular affinity for guys without pants. It really does our hearts well. So in this time that we've been together, we have always come out with new music. Next week we'll have a remix of Universal available. And lads and lasses, if you don't have Universal already, if you haven't looked on our Facebook, listened to some of the free music that's there, downloaded our free app for your smarty smartphone. Sorry, Jeff, that we don't have an app for flip phones yet. But that's all right. You keep dancing, people will throw money at you. Yeah. Don't dance like that, though. <laughs> I don't know if it's... Keep working. Keep working on it. We'll, we'll give you a private Scottish lap dance lesson or something. But oh. lads and lasses, in the time that we're here... We're proud to offer free music, and if you are picking up a CD, lads and lasses, we allow you to burn copies. That's right, I know! We have, and you have, cheap bastard friends. <laughs> it's true, and we all deal with it, but that's no reason that they should go without bagpipes in their life. <laughs> so share with their PCs, or their MP3s, or their eye patches, whatever! <laughs> We appreciate you making this world a better place for bagpipes by bringing better bagpipes to it. We're doing our part, so we love it when we get emails about you driving down the road and playing bagpipes really loudly with the windows rolled down. They especially appreciate that in Magnolia. You know, it's like only 30 miles an hour through the town, then there's traffic and there's bagpipes, people headbanging and whatnot. It does our hearts well. So we like to play a piece from our latest CD, Universal. And we hope, we hope that you'll rock out to it a bit. And even... <laughs> this happened earlier. There was a whole family watching Circa Paleo, our stage mates here. They were seated around the tree right where you guys are. It was an entire family. They had like four kids and they were all wearing zombie makeup. Yeah, yeah. So we're counting the zombies today because it would be great to get everyone together. You know, like on the joust track, just have a whole section of the audience being like... <laughs> so we'd like to dedicate this tune to zombies, in fact. It's kind of like, what, what are we doing? Mad Dogs Travel? That sounds good. Phil! Phil the Dragon! We should get someone on tambourine for this number. Someone's going to shake the noise. That is, you guys need to rock out a bit. I don't know if that was everyone. We only heard from the zombies on that. Are you ready to rock out a bit? <laughs>
Can we get some applause for Lori? Lots of applause. This is crazy. Phil McCracken has had the great knack, the great talent for choosing someone in the audience who has absolutely no sense of rhythm. <laughs> and we have to say, Lori, that was fantastic. Highland Vibe. How long have you been studying the rhythm method? You're a musician. What do you play? She plays guitar. You have a CD. After the show, while oh, you're collecting autographs from Tartanic, get one from Laurie as well. You are multi-talented. Absolute pleasure. Oh, you're welcome. I'm not allowed to watch it. I'm not sure how, how we talk that. I'm not sure at all how we talk that. Maybe we should play. This is an interesting thing that we didn't even know about until just recently, lads and lasses. For those of you with smartphones, whether or not you have our free, let me say that again, free app. Don't shake your head, Sterling. We, you know what's going on there. Right, so lads and lasses, we looked up, there's an app called Zedge. Begins with a Z and evidently they do ringtones, things like that. Well, a patron, someone, to one of you guys, came up to us after the show. This is in Michigan, in fact. And uh, we just came there from here. And they said, you know you guys have a ringtone out there. Now, we, we pay for the service that you know does all that digital crap for us, so it's always a surprise. But if you're... If you need a bagpipe ringtone, lads and lasses, <laughs> all you do is do a Titanic as a search word, and you have briefcase number one, which is probably our hottest single from our uncivilized CD. So we thought, in honor of those people who play bagpipes on their phones everywhere they go, even in public restrooms, which is really great. You know, the stall next door, you hear, you know, bagpipes going on. Ethan was telling me that he, he did that with his own phone, in fact. There he was, public restroom. He's like, oh, play some bagpipes there. And he took the whole instrument in there. So, so while he was in there, lads and lasses, the uh, it, bagpipes were really loud, as you know. And there he was in a public restroom, and someone else was in the stall next to him. He scared the crap out of them. <laughs> And for those of you that are looking to be an extra special stalker, yes indeed, we have we have sweat available. Now this is real Tartanic sweat going on. You can always make more. It's going to be a warm day. So for those lucky people who need that extra something, we have that available for you. I know, I know. Go in the back because you know you don't want to embarrass anyone. But lines and losses for right now. This is briefcase number one. Everybody put your hands together!
as many people. Would you like more? Would you like more music? Yeah! Yeah! Then buy our CDs. <laughs> buy our CDs, even our old ones, with the requests that you have. But lads and lasses, until our next performance right here on this stage, we should let you know that the sweat, the sweaty hugs, autographs, photographs that you tag and post to our Facebook, absolutely free of charge. If you insist on supporting the band by putting anything in our tip baskets, you should know that this 39th year of the Texas Renaissance Festival, all proceeds collected during a Tartanic performance are going to be spent on beer, groceries, and car repairs. Yes. Just so you know what you're supporting, but until our next performance right here, lads and lasses, from Tartanic and our entire McCracken Ballantine team to you. Thank you! Thank you. Thank you.